I'm Fred Schmidt. I live in Boise, Idaho. I'm going to speak today about making some tools the old-fashioned way, using rocks and, and antler tips and that kind of stuff. Uh, I became interested in this as a young child when I loved everything Indian or about the frontier or about our ancestors. That's what led me to, to take this up. It's been a great uh, pursuit. I've done a lot of reading and uh, still practice this craft today. What to do right now is remove a flake using a hammer stone and this really beautiful piece of obsidian. You need to dress this first. Again, that strengthens the edge. You'll see some white coming up here. Now, let's see if I can remove a flake here. There's a big one. I'm going to hit it right here and we're going to drive off a flake here. Ooh, that sounded good. This is a shed mule deer antler and we make tools out of those as did our uh, as, as did our ancestors we want a time that looks like this what we can do is take that piece that I just removed very sharp piece and work on this we've already started it of course but we work on this until we get it about halfway or a little bit farther down in there and then break it off hit it against a rock or whatever and then a braid braid the end of it that was probably pretty ragged because we're going to put it in our hand. We have braid that on a rock. Just keep working that until we sand it down. This is a flake that I removed from that core piece earlier. I'm going to reduce it now to oh, a projectile point, arrowhead, and by doing so well, we, we're going to strike it with this, with this rock. I use a hand piece here to hold it. You need to again strengthen that edge and then work on it. Now we go to an antler and uh, just about have it notched. The notching is done with a smaller tool, small antler time, and work into the notches like that. And we're just about ready here. To use that. These are just a few of the projectile points I've made over the years. 